2009. I've been told to call them winosodes. Episodes? Winosodes? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we look like when we're excited, guys. Folks, I want to tell you about our wines. We have chosen uh, six wines for this month and two for the regular series, or classic series, two for the vintners, and two for the limited series. Out of 400 that we tasted this month, and by the way, you can watch them live, wow. all those tastings on Tuesdays from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock on our website. Click on our icon. As long as that thing is going in circles, that means we're live. Taste all the wines, and when I spit it out, just turn your head. Yeah, don't spit them at the, at the, the vendors. vendors. Yeah. Yeah. Some of that stuff I taste, I should spit at the vendors. But <laughs> this particular one was gorgeous. It's a 2007 Chardonnay from your hometown, Ed, right? Sicily. Well, I don't know about my hometown, but it's, uh, you know, my, 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 uh, my grandparents were born there. The pictures? I'm, uh, I'm half Italian and half Sicilian, is oh, what I like to tell good. people. Really Arancio is a great producer. They've been around four or 500 years. Um, they were making... You know, the, the indigenous grapes of Sicily for a lot of years, and then the kids have taken over, and they have really turned this place around. I don't know where they got the money. Where would you get the money in Sicily? Uh, not right here. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, anyway. from Sicily, I'm not sure. <laughs> the Amoroso family? Yeah, probably. But, uh, uh, but they've done a great job with this wine, and all their wines, actually. We've had uh, Rancio wines before, haven't we? We have. We had the Pinot Grigio about uh, two years ago, and this, the color of this is just the color is gorgeous. wonderful straw yeah. color, the hints mm -hmm. of gold. And the nose is all apples, oh. and you got, you got apple, apple pie. In apple there. pie, you know, apple and, and, and creme brulee. It's really yeah. super. And not over oak. It's got a little bit of wood on it, so you don't taste all wood. You taste the flavor of the, of the grapes, and you taste the, the soil that it was grown in. Terrific wine. What I like is the balance, that fruit in the middle, nice acid in the end. It'll age beautifully and gracefully as mm -hmm. you store it. And I would serve this. What would you serve this with? Well, I, you know, I'd serve it with challenging dishes. You could serve this with... Um, uh, shrimp with a spicy sauce, or with a Chilean sea bass, with uh, with mint. I mean, you could you could throw a lot of stuff at this. This is not a this is not a simple wine. It'll hold up to some pretty uh, authoritative ta tastes, you know. And this is like twenty bucks a bottle. Twenty bucks a bottle. Wow. wow. Minus thirteen, seven ninety nine. Wow. Seven ninety nine. Unbelievable. Minus Psycho. twelve. I'm crazy. Yeah, you're amazing. Right. I don't understand how he does. The bargain it. At twice. The yeah. <laughs> Two thousand seven Arancio Chardonnay from Sicily. Enjoy. Yeah. Do it. Now we're going to move to the red wine for the classic series. This is the Stonewood 2005 Merlot. So we got a little bottle age on this wine. It's really? A gorgeous bottle of wine. And I think uh, you enjoyed writing about this, didn't you? I did. I mean, I'd, I'd never heard of these guys, the Scotto family. They've been around since Prohibition, the same time that Gallo started. And they've been making private label brands for people all over the United States. They were shipping grapes back to, uh, to the Italian families in New York. Probably my grandfather was one of them. And, uh, and they were making wine out of them. And then when they come up with something really good like this, uh, 05 Merlot, they bought it under their own label, and this is spectacular. Great color. Look at that ruby, Beautiful. ruby red. Yeah. Magenta. It doesn't show its age at all via 2005, so it's been in the bottle for a few years already. Got some nice cherry uh, components in there, a little bit of oak, it just nicely balanced. Love the vanilla in the end. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Very good. Very good. It wears well, too, when you spit it on yourself. I noticed the black. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. I'll remember that for next time. <laughs> We're going to enjoy this with uh, our favorite barbecue dish. Uh, so, you know, I would put a, a rack of ribs with a sort of a honey-based barbecue sauce. That'd be on great on that. This could stand up to ribs with a little sweetness to it, or a rack of lamb. Uh, you could even, you know, stand up to a good steak, you know, on the, on the barbie. Yeah, what's one of the, one of the litmus tests for me when I, take, when I taste the wines to select for the wine list is, will I take this home and drink it with my meal? And I'm taking this particular bottle with me right now. I thought that was mine. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, fine. Thanks. Enjoy. Salute. <laughs> 